Hi everybody, welcome to another Low on Health game video review. These are kind of my supplements to me now doing video reviews of the games that I've played recently, in which case recently now is probably two or three weeks behind, but I'm getting to these when I can. So on today's little review uh, block, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Transformers, uh, right, War of Cybertron, and Metal Gear Solid uh, Peace Walker for the PSP. Um, let's go ahead and start with uh, Transformers here. Um, yeah. Have to just have that video playing there for a second. Um, Transformers, I actually really enjoyed the game. Uh, I was really surprised. The demo for it, I never played, but it was good. It was a multiplayer demo, and I never play multiplayer demos. But uh, from what basically people were saying, they were definitely enjoying it. I mean, it's basically it's a third-person shooter is what it comes down to. It's a third-person shooter with Transformers, and basically uses kind of a prequel lore for the Transformers, and it's just a really good, solid story. Um, I like the overall look and art style and everything. You know, it's kind of the busy Transformers with all the intricate things going on. But they did a really good job with it. And they did a really good job kind of building the characters. And it was definitely, definitely fun in this game to transform. To basically transform into a, a, you know, a tank. Or especially the jets. Transforming into the jets was just awesome. And I enjoyed the hell at transforming into the jets. Because um, it was just cool to kind of like just fly around and just buzz through a level. Um, and I, they also let you play both sides of the conflict, which was really cool. You have to play Decepticon and the Autobots, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, the story was solid, and uh, I really want them to kind of take this franchise and run with it. I really, really enjoyed it, and uh, I know a lot of people on Xbox Live friends list have played it, and they enjoy it too, and it's just a really good, solid game. It's kind of surprising to hear that from you know, a Transformer game, but this is basically kind of starting over. It's not going off of the movies or anything, so it's just solid and good. Uh... Moving on here, let's go ahead and talk about the next game I got here, which is going to be Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. And of course, this is for the PSP. Um, now, for Metal Gear, as some of you probably know, just this a little bit, I do love me some Metal Gear. Um, I'll probably end up doing a whole Metal Gear piece eventually. But this is basically the Metal Gear for the PSP. Now, the previous PSP games for... Uh, whoop, the previous PSP games for uh, basically uh, Metal Gear were kind of more uh, turn-based. The first two was Acid, and those were basically kind of card-based and turn-based. And I actually really very much enjoyed those. Um, and then you have, of course, Portable Ops, which, give me a second here, I think the camera's wobbling around. Better? Um, then you had, of course, uh, Portable Ops, which kind of introduced the basic Metal Gear franchise and basic controls first, where you were in third person sneaking around, first person shooting and whatnot. And that was okay, because they let you kind of go more shooter with it. Um, now with this one, with Peace Walker, I don't know what it was, but I just couldn't get into the game. Um, the gameplay, I don't know. Once again, I always have issues with action-type games on the PSP, because I have issues with the analog nub. In which case, I really just don't enjoy it. It needs double stick, or that's why I guess the turn-based system worked really well with it. So the problem was, like, once they would see me in this one, you couldn't even try, attempt to fight your way out. You would basically die and that'd be in. You'd have to restart. And the checkpoints weren't very uh, forgiving. You would basically have to like sneak through like another three or five minutes. And that's kind of what the name of the game is and everything I know. But I just wasn't digging it whatsoever. And I'm not the only one. Other people that have played the game have mentioned that too. That the controls kind of hamper it. But uh, the cool news is, is you can just get a... Because the PSP game, you can just get a master save. And luckily all the uh, audio logs and all the videos and cutscenes can be viewed uh, off of a can be reviewed and can be played off of a save file. So I basically made it into a graphic novel movie and just basically watched the whole game. I didn't actually play through it. I just watched all the cutscenes and all the audio logs. In which case, superb freaking story. It does a really good job of kind of meshing uh, basically Snake Eater and the other Metal Gear Solid games. Basically, the Metal Gear game, not just Solid. Um, in which case, I really, really much enjoyed the presentation and I really, really much enjoyed the story. Um, it kind of just, it's perfect for the saga, it kind of ties up some loose ends. Um, and just looking over some things I had here, I mentioned that, you know, basically a lot of it, I just couldn't even play the game. Um, but they also have a tons and tons of audio log uh, in the game. Uh, the, the visuals were decent, I mean, the, you could tell it's a PSP, and I, that, it's starting to show its age. Uh, but the audio, of course, was awesome, but in uh, the graphic novel and the cutscenes was cool. Yeah, I love the graphic novel style cutscenes. But uh, they have audio logs, in which case they're very just long, drawn out audio logs of just the different characters talking about the mythos and a lot of it basically focused on AI, artificial intelligence, and uh, nuclear deterrence. That was kind of two main themes in the whole freaking game and they drive those themes and that mentality and just you 
they teach you about them. It's very super informative, and I love that. I love basically. I was just listening to audio logs in bed before I went to sleep, and I just enjoyed it so much. And you also get the basically the different character interactions and their different like relationships and stuff, and it's just really good. And you also in this game too, you get to kind of start to build up outer heaven. Yeah, as snake, you start recruit people and have them do different tasks and whatnot, and that's really cool. And actually. In this game, there's not a lot of stylized enemies like, you know, the fear or whatnot. You basically go a lot against uh, some uh, military devices like tanks and choppers and stuff and some uh, AI-controlled stuff. But, uh, man, I just really much enjoyed the story. The story is just super mega solid, and the presentation with them giving the autologs and so much information is just fan service to an extreme. They even really fleshed out the boss character, which, of course, is, you know, big bosses, naked snakes, basically, uh, you know, mentor, and they really flushed her character out. In which case, boss, the boss, she was already a tragic character. You always, you already kind of knew her tale was very just sad and you know, like, just powerful. And they actually was able to make her, you know, tale even that more tragic and that more sorrowful and that more just, you know, heart pulling. I mean, she was just a really good character, and they really flushed her out with this one. And it's, I'm really happy they did that because it just basically really kind of brings a whole series and saga together. And I definitely recommend playing Metal Gear uh, Peace Walker, or if not playing it, just grabbing a save and just go through all the cutscenes and go through the story, just watch it, and it's really good, really, really good, and the audio logs are just fantastic. You learn a lot about nuclear deterrence, like, it's really, really interesting in AI and just how everything kind of all works together, and you kind of really do see the beginning of the, basically, the whole Metal Gear saga with the Patriots and all that stuff and just how it comes all comes together. But, uh, that's really kind of about it. Let me just go ahead and stop that there. Um, once again, what I want to do real quick is give you my breakdown for them. Um, for Transformers War Cybertron, I gave, basically, it's solid 8 across the board. Presentation, you know, great voice acting, the design, being able to go through the different chapters and whatnot, whatever way you wanted to. The gameplay was just solid. It's a third-person shooter, and you can transform, which is just fun and awesome and f so fluid. And the story was good, too. I mean, it gets really kind of dark when you think about it. So, you know, Transformers is just a solid 8 across the board. Uh, with Metal Gear, I gave the presentation 8, because once again, the audio kind of brought up the visuals. Uh, the design, I gave a 7, because I just really wasn't digging it. Gameplay, I gave a 6, because I just cannot get like get action controls on the PSP. Um, and then, basically, the story, I gave a 10, because Metal Gear stories are always great, and this one just knocks the ball out of the park, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, so, it gives Peace Walker like a total of 7.75 overall. So, Transformers 8, Metal Gear 7.5. It should be saying that up there. I should have that written up. But, uh... That's going to be my two reviews for now. I got some more queued up, and I'm just kind of doing these as I can get to them. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.